Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. Today we're going to be having a look at one of the Buildcraft uh, machines. It's been a while since we've had a look at uh, anything from Buildcraft. But this is the architect table. And if we open it up and have a look, uh, it's got quite a simple interface. We basically have our input slot, our output slot, and then a progress bar. And that's, that's pretty much all there is to the interface. Very, very simple. Now, as for actually making this machine, uh, making it is, is a little bit more involved, uh, more expensive. It's quite an expensive little machine um, because what it will do is, is quite cool. Now, here we have, we've got two diamond gears as part of this recipe and they're going to take four diamond each, four gold each, and four iron each. So, fairly expensive. You're going to need eight diamonds to even think about making this. Then you've got your dandelion yellow and your ink sacks. A landmark on the top, crafting table in the middle, and then something called a template underneath. Now the template uh, you make by putting paper around an ink sack like so and that's because what this machine will actually do for you is it will uh, copy an area onto a template uh, to allow you to save it and possibly rebuild it later on using another build craft machine which I will uh, cover another time so let's have a quick look at this in action um, now in order to get this going well I just thought I've make something that vaguely resembles my logo vaguely um, so to get this going what we need to, to do is make a, a cube with our um, landmarks now if you don't know about landmarks if you place one down like that if you apply a redstone signal to it it will shoot blue lasers in every direction and they will go 64 blocks in each direction because that's the, the limit of Buildcraft being able to, to recognise um, well that's the biggest any of the Buildcraft machines will go so there's no point in going more than 64 blocks um, these in themselves can be quite useful uh, if you were trying to say you could use them as laser guides because they will go through blocks if we have a look over here uh, we've got a it's going into the block it will go straight through it so you can use it to line up tunnels and things like that if you're setting up quite a complex uh, mine or you want to put a pipe through a wall accurately and find out where it's going to come out on the other side these are quite useful for that um, otherwise we will just set up a cube here and you need to put um, them all so they line up with um, with a single with a single uh, landmark and these landmarks are just redstone torches with lapis on top right now what we need to do is we need to to get up uh, above so we need to build up so that we can mark the top of this um, this cube or it will be a cube so if we drop one there like that now if we if we were to right click this one what it will do is it's going to draw a line uh, between it and the the next landmark that it's in line with and if we were to do that on this one here it will connect or draw red lines with all of them and this is something that you need to do uh, in order to get your template working now we can get rid of this you don't need the redstone torch in order to set these landmarks up it just makes it a bit easier so you can see see what you're working with so once we've got our cube set up we will uh, take our our architect table and just drop it down now where you drop it down is it needs to be on this um, on this pivotal landmark um, but it also you need to bear in mind 
where that is in relation to what it is you're building it's because when you want to build this later it's going to show up in exactly the same place in relation to your builder so if we drop this down now what will happen is all these uh, landmarks will, will fall off so you can go around and pick those guys up and we'll get this black and yellow tape showing up uh, showing the area that the architect table covers now uh, to actually get this to work all you do is you drop a blueprint in and it's going to get to work now what we can do here is we can name this template so right there we've got it and we can call it Q, Q logo and if we take that off actually I maybe should have done that first so let me get another template just it's a blueprint in it we get another blueprint just so we can see that hopefully that's going to name it Q logo should have done that first shouldn't I so then we will get a uh, blueprint out and the tooltip there says Q logo rather than blueprint 2 we'll get rid of that one so there you go that's this blueprint now we can do various things with we can put it in uh, a blueprint library or we could put it straight into a builder and I will cover that another time so thanks for watching guys um, we'll see more of this logo very soon probably the next couple of days I'll be covering uh, these buildcraft things uh, please hit follow or subscribe subscribe on YouTube isn't it it's follow on Twitch and follow on Twitter and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.